historically, the uh, department has, of course, we present a budget two weeks, you know, in advance of actually being voted on introduction and there's a public hearing. <laughs> Are we uh, suffering under the same laws from the state legislature for that particular problem? So I guess what we're saying is, is whenever you pass your budget, it needs to be introduced here. Well, am I in the same line with our schedule? Is that what you're thinking? Well, the law doesn't dictate it. The law, the law dictates simply that sometimes, even, I mean, this is what's so confusing about it, with, with the fact that we've had to move our budget table up an, an entire 30 days just to be able to, to be ready. Um, by your September 3rd, I was told by Department of Local Government Finance, I may actually have to submit my budget to you before the board's even passed it. Now, I mean, I can come in the two weeks. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. Just understand that the final budget at that time will not be passed, would not have been passed by the library board because of the fact that, just like you, we have to have the two publications. We have to wait the, the 10 days for the public here. Well, we have to wait the seven days for the public hearing, the 10 days for the remonstrance petition process before we have our, our approval. So we have our approval scheduled for the, 10, uh, the 30th of August. Um, the law says we need to have it to you 14 days before um, your hearing. So I'm backing that off of the 13th. And I was told by Dan Eggerman, who is our field rep, that I can actually can present it to you before the board approves it. So the law doesn't demand that we come in and make that presentation, but I'd be more than happy to do it. So just set me a timetable, and I'll I'll try to meet it. So actually, for these folks here, what their pleasure would be? What's going to do? I don't see any reason to do any more with it than we absolutely have to. I mean, we have another board that's overseeing the budget in its entirety. It's just a formality for us, I believe. Thank you. We were hoping that that would be your opinion. <laughs> uh, I mean, I will tell you, we have, we do have appointed board members. I personally, having been very active in this state legislative um, endeavor of the, of the Indian Libraries and American Libraries as well, feel like that that this really is the best way to have a library board. These are people that really are involved, care about the library, don't come to our board with any type of private agenda, work very much for the county residents as a whole, and take budgeting as seriously as any elected board. So that, uh, as Steve has said, it's a wide range group of people. Our appointments come from all over the county system. Um, and our board's facing a, a, a cry for new buildings and improved buildings at a time when our operating budget's going the other way. So we've really been having serious discussions long before these last couple of months about what that means to us. Um, what I would love to do is bring you a resolution at your meeting on the 3rd and ask you to approve it. If in the meantime um, you would like for me to meet with you individually and review our budget and, our, and how our budget is put together, it's the same budget form that you use. Um, it's, um, of course, most of our expenditures lie in the personnel issues and in the capital outlays, which is typical of all institutions, but ours happens to be particularly heavy in the capital because we're about media books and, and products, so that's, we do a lot of spending in the four, in the 4,000. Um, it's really, you know, Steve, whatever you want us to do. Does um, anyone in the council have anything else? Did you say you're going to have to make a 10% cut in your budget again? This, you're going to present a budget that's going to be less than last year? Mm -hmm. And then next year's going to be less than, uh, I, I mean... I can't see us spending a lot of time to figure out where you cut. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's, um, We've been very fortunate in being a growing system and, and being able to move forward. And uh, it's just like every public unit, our miscellaneous revenues are going backwards and these, these ceilings that are, are not taking into account the growing areas are, are really hurting us extremely so. So um, we'll, do, we'll do the best we can. We're trying, we, we certainly don't plan to lay people off. We don't plan to cut hours. We're just, we're trying to look, and we're not looking for pennies. I mean, I'm talking a half a million dollars, but I have to cut. You have a fine system. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Would you care for me to like contact you individually to see if you'd like to go over budgets with me, or do you want me to be prepared to come in with a, a proposal, or just bring a resolution to the September 3rd meeting? I think if you brought a resolution, it would be fine with me personally. If you're going to have that available on the 3rd, just get it to uh, Janet.
if you can get it in our packets. And, you know, if there's any questions, we can contact you between that and the uh, uh, meeting on the night. Do they have a telephone number to give us over in that looking at? Oh, oh, yes. Um, on the on that purple form, um, that, let me give you my direct number. My direct number is 738-9835. Thank you. You're welcome. Ms. Martin, yes. I want to just double check. Um, you're preparing to bring this to us for presentation at our August 9th meeting or our September 13th? Oh, I was oh, September 13th. September 13th. So, uh, so I and now like I said, we will not we will not have our final meeting to approve. We'll have to have a special meeting on August 30th. Okay. But I can. I would assume that probably too. We'd want our attorney to work with Rob to make sure on the wording because no one, no one's giving us any advice on how to do this. It's just kind of you know we're be basically being told not to do it, but um, we don't feel like that's fair to our. our you should that re should require an order format. You know, council can waive a lot of things, but you know, the, the point is that it goes into the introduction format, and then it goes to a public hearing. It, it, the law says a resolution. I don't. You may not have had a chance to look at it yet, Ron. But um, that, or that maybe that's even what we're just getting in, in instruction because Department of Local Government Finance really doesn't know how to deal with this either. So I think that <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, but we can. I think between the attorneys, we'll make sure that we have that all in order and then have it in your packets in a significant period of time. But as I said, I'm very open to any. Um, Discussion you'd like to have about it as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to ask me. <laughs> no, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll get information for you. I'll call you a book on it. I'll loan you books. I'll loan you I'll read DVDs and videos. And I won't send you over to. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, people think we make it off of fines and fees. Unfortunately, we don't. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.